we've diverted over seven tons of waste from the landfill. Um, and we did win an award at the last Better Business Challenge for our composting program. It's the Ripple Effect Award, so hoping that our composting efforts will sort of ripple out into the community. Today on Charlottesville Inside Out, we'll check out a go-to resource in our community for understanding and implementing environmentally sustainable practices at home and in the office. Join us as we visit with Terry Kent, founder of Better World Betty. Come on. Better World Betty is a local organization that helps people and businesses have the knowledge and the local tools that they need so they can reduce their impact on the environment. Okay, so fast and friendly, fun tips. What inspired you to start this organization? Well, I'm a, I was a stay-at-home mom at the time. I have two boys and I just became really alarmed with what was going on with the environment. You know, article after article after the bleaching ocean, um, the, the plastic trash heaps in the Pacific and uh, the rising temperatures. And I thought, you know, I really want to do something at the local level. And I looked around. We'd always been a hiker and been a recycler at home. But I really, after Inconvenient Truth especially, I just the movie, felt the like, film. yes, I had to up the ante. I had to do something. I'm a doer. So I wanted to do something at the local level. And I, as I looked around as a mom, I thought, you know, people are busy. You yeah. know, they, it, it's this big, overwhelming thing, global climate change, and what's happening at the local level, and how can I tap in? Uh, who's, who, who's taking care of, of recycling or right. energy? Recycling is huge. Right. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah. Right. I thought, you know, I want some, somebody to tell me on, in the environment, like who in the community is, is helping me with clean energy or clean water, like recycling, that kind of thing. Right. But everyday and, stuff. And talk about Betty. So you've got this really helpful, friendly person who is this character, Betty. Yeah. Tell us about Betty. Well, Betty is that 50s <laughs> woman, Betty. Yeah. See, even Betty's the, recycled, people. Exactly. <laughs> and she's the go-to. She's the local guru um, that you can go to for any question. Right. So, and I think it's, it's I think it speaks to people because we all have this inner Betty. Yeah, you know, everyone we, is Betty. Everyone is Betty. Everyone can be Betty. Exactly. Everyone has that place in their heart in the, where they are intimately tied to the planet. We rely on it. We rely on clean air and clean water. And right. so that Betty is whoever that person is. You know, we all know somebody at our church. We all know somebody at our business. We also know nobody's know somebody in our neighborhood that where they take the recycling separately or mm -hmm. you know they have that inner Betty right. that wants to do something so and so let's talk about some of the things that we do you have this great menu so and and so people can look at Betty's menu and decide what it is they want to do and so give us some examples of the starters the appetizers it's really not so intimidating. Right, so we created this menu. We wanted to have the little a la carte. So things like turning off your faucet when you brush your teeth. Right. Something simple, or putting, yeah. the, putting the top on your, we say lower your cook print. Right. <laughs> Put that top on as you're heating up your, your water. Those little things. Why do you do that? Uh, to, so that you don't have to run the stove as long. So that you're saving, conserving a little conserving bit of energy. In that way too, right. Yeah. Okay, and so then, so those are starters, and then, and then the menu gets beefier and beefier. That's right. So then we ask people, hey, can you take it up a notch and have uh, the main dish? Maybe a main dish would be get a home energy checkup, switch out a toilet, something that's a little more time intensive. Right. So when we created the menu, we wanted to say, hey, what could people do in a few minutes. And there are many things on the menu right. that people can do. And probably are, many people are probably already doing. Right. So it makes you feel good about yourself when you read the menu. Yeah, and we want, it, want, we want people to feel like they can do something. You know, it doesn't have to be you're completely off grid, which is wonderful. Right. But we want every, right. everyday actions to be accessible. And I think that um, the menu is a fun, friendly way to do that. So they can go to the website and they can ask any question. Yes. How do I do this? How do I do that? And before they even ask, 
they can click on and go to a section where people have already asked a million questions right. and to see if their answers are there first. That's right. I mean, it's a huge resource. Exactly, and it really helps us repurpose as a community and be a really resilient, stronger community. When, you know, I have something in my home, I don't want to get rid of it. Who else in the community can utilize that, whether it's a backpack or a, a right. lawnmower? I mean, that we really become a stronger community that way. And that ties in with an event that you all are part of today. Talk about the Repair Cafe. So the Repair Cafe is just a great Betty concept. Everybody has things at home that are that's broken. Maybe it just needs a little tweak here or some glue there and they don't want to throw it away. And so this right. Repair Cafe, we will have stations that people can come and bring their broken item. And this is part of Seville Time Bank. Right. It's another neat concept of a community working together so that we can reduce, reuse, recycle. So, and it's um, on America Recycles Day. Yes. So every year, uh, every year on November 15th, is a big Betty day. Big Betty day, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> because, yeah. you know, we all care. Uh, recycling is a, one of those things that we can do to be smarter with our resources. And it's great because there are several organizations that are participating in the event today. So you bring the community together. Everyone's going to be offering help with different things. You're teaching, Better World Betty will be teaching people how to make a shopping bag out of an old t-shirt right. <laughs> without using any needles or thread. Right, just a, just a pair of scissors. Just a pair of scissors. And I get so many compliments when I take mine to the grocery store. People say, is that an old t-shirt? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> yes, it is. See, that's great. <laughs> now, the other thing that Better World Betty has done in the past and will continue to do in the future is is the, the Better Business Challenge. You all are a very big yes. part of that. Yes. Tell us what that is. So the Better Business Challenge is a program for local businesses, schools, churches. We get in there and we really help businesses reduce their impact. So we have scorecards in energy, water, waste, transportation, purchasing. We really hit every aspect of running a business right. with a checklist, with a scorecard and say, here, you know, we'll help you identify some things that will save your business money, uh, help the environment, build a stronger community, bring customers to you. Because you and I as consumers, we want to go to those businesses right. that are doing things for the environment, that are right. stepping up, that are sustainable minded. So it's, it's a great program. We've helped almost 200 businesses now. And it's fun because it is a challenge. It's sort of a competition and people win awards. Right. And they really get engaged and invested and really make a difference. That's right. So for the first challenge, we um, basically converted all of our leases, our applications, our addenda, just dozens and dozens of documents into an electronic um, system called EchoSign. So it's all, everything is signed digitally. It's all email. It's super convenient. Um, and we got rid of all of our filing cabinets and thousands of sheets of paper. That's almost 100 sheets of paper per day, not to mention how much toner goes into that as well. So that's pretty significant when you start looking at stuff like that, that wow, we used to, <laughs> we used to waste all that paper and now we don't, which is really cool. When we did the Better Business Challenge, there was a great kind of community forming within the company and everybody was sort of clear that we had a message, we had a, a vision that we were trying to accomplish. Um, and the most exciting part was that we actually won the award and we would have regular classes in the kitchen, in the rental division, in our event operations room, just to explain to people where you put certain items so that they don't contaminate the streams of recycling trash or um, compost that we're, we're producing. It's building that muscle, that um, ecology-minded muscle with the <laughs> within yeah. the business community. And what we've done, I feel like, with that program and some of our other programs is we really activate that Betty that we talked about that's within you know, everybody and within the community that we went in and empowered that person, that one person in the, in the organization given them some tangible tools, right. given them, uh, we do lunch and learns, uh, workshop series. Uh, it's, really, it's a really fun program. Why is it so important to compost? 
wow, green waste is a big problem. It's heavy. Um, it in the in the landfills. It um, there's chemical processes and it releases methane. Like if we could get green waste out of the waste stream, we would be doing so much better in terms of uh, recovering that resource. I mean, really, when you think about it, green waste. That's like amazing dirt <laughs> for your garden. Right. Like so you can create that is a that is an untapped resource. Right. It really is. And and it is so doable. It is. It's so easy. Oh, we had someone that was at McIntyre Recycling and she was a Betty, she was an older Betty, and she said, please tell people to compost their leaves. You know, she just was passionate. I love how people just get so passionate. Can you tell the whole community to, to recycle their leaves because it turns into perfect, you know, soil, so. Yeah, well, it's always fun. Betty's fun. It, <laughs> Betty's not intimidating. Betty makes you want to come on board. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's volunteer and board run. Mm -hmm. But so if people want to get involved, talk about the different ways that they can get involved. So one way uh, to get involved, of course, is to engage in our programs, to download the menu. We have an anti-styrofoam letter. Maybe your favorite restaurant you know, is still using styrofoam. Go to our website, print out the letter, send it, ha hand it to them in person. So take action, of course, would mm -hmm. be a great way to engage. Um, as a volunteer organization, we, we are always looking for Bettys. We, we yeah. want that group of, of folks where we can tap into and, and have them be where they're needed. Yeah. You know, so um, there's lots of ways to become involved. We have zero waste warriors, so. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. So what are, what are zero waste warriors? So these are people that we um, meet with and, and really educate them about recycling in our community. Mm -hmm the ins and outs, and then they can go and advocate in their neighborhood or their schools about the importance of recycling. That's a good way to be involved. And of course, um, donating you know, to our organization. We are, we are wanting to, as you said, run the Better Business Challenge again. Yeah. So that's a fundraising effort that, yeah. that requires all sorts of participation and sponsorship. So yeah. So what, what is next? For you all, what does Betty want to do next? So our big vision is to have little pilot um, Betty communities um, all over. So yeah, because everyone's you know need we need it. We need that go-to person. Yeah, everyone yeah. is a Betty. You're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Terry. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs>